Hi everyone. So in this cost accounting series, we're going to be talking specifically about cost volume profit analysis. And the first thing we have to talk about or introduce is a new form of the income statement. And we call this income statement the contribution margin income statement. It's very similar to the others, but it, it does something different with the cost. So let's see what that is. So we're going to start with our sales as usual. But then we're going to subtract our variable costs from our sales. And that's going to give us something called contribution margin. Hence, contribution margin income statement. And from the contribution margin, we're going to subtract our fixed costs. And that will give us our operating income. So what you notice with the contribution margin income statement is costs are separated by how they behave. So we have our variable cost up here, and we have all of our fixed cost down there. So we calculate contribution margin by only subtracting variable costs from sales, and then operating income is derived from taking fixed cost from our contribution margin. Now one thing, I, in addition, I would like for us to, to know in this section is how we can represent uh, everything or uh, the first three lines of the income statement as a percentage of sales. So sales, keep in mind, is 100% of itself. So sales divided by sales is 100%. We can also represent variable cost as a percentage of sales. Simply taking our variable cost and dividing that by sales gives us our percentage of variable cost of sales. And we can do the same thing with contribution margin. So contribution margin divided by sales is our contribution margin percentage or contribution margin percent of sales. Now that we have our contribution margin income statement, we can now start talking about break-even and our break-even analysis and how we go about doing that. So keep in mind what break-even means. Break-even means there's no operating income. Um, so our revenues equal our cost. So we have a formula we can easily do to also figure that out. So if we're wanting to derive break even in units, our formula would look like this. We're gonna take our fixed cost And we're going to add our target operating income to that. And we're going to divide all that by our contribution margin per unit. Okay, so one thing I always like to point out is if we're looking for break even in units, we're going to divide by a per unit number. So always keep that in mind. Now also at break even, what is target operating income? Well, at break even, target operating income is zero dollars. So there's nothing there. So basically the numerator is fixed cost at break even. Now if we want to find break even in dollars, the formula is very similar. So again, we're going to take our fixed cost we're going to add, I'm going to abbreviate here, our target operating income. So same thing as before. So again, target operating income at break even is zero. But we're going to need that later when we're talking about earning a target profit. Okay, so we're going to divide this by the contribution margin ratio. Okay, so very different from before. So to find break-even in units, we divide it by a per unit number. To find uh, break-even in sales dollars, we're going to divide by the contribution margin ratio. So think again about the contribution margin income statement that we talked about on the left side of the screen here, how we calculate the contribution margin ratio. So the contribution margin ratio was contribution margin divided by sales. Okay, So this is the contribution margin ratio. 
Also, we can think about at break even. So at break even, one thing we can know is that contribution margin and fixed cost will be equal. Because that's the only way we can get an operating income of zero. So let's look at some examples of using um, the break even and the contribution margin income statement. So here we have Sunshine Travel Agency. They specialize in flights between Toronto and Jamaica. It books passengers on Canadian Air. Sunshine's fixed costs are $22,000 per month. Canadian Air cha charges passengers $1,000 per round trip ticket. Calculate the number of tickets Sunshine must sell each month to A, break even, and B, make a target operating income of $10,000 per month in each of the following independent cases. So let's do the first one together. So the first thing we want to do is calculate our break even, and we want, then we want to see, well, how many tickets do we have to sell to make a profit of a certain amount? In this case, it's $10,000 per month. So in these scenarios, we're specifically looking for break even in units because they're asking for number of tickets to break even. So it's important that we know that because this is how we figure out which formula we want to use. So in this case, we need the, the um, fixed cost plus target operating income, which at break even we know is zero. So we're looking for fixed cost. So in this case is $22,000. And we're going to divide that by our contribution margin per unit. So we have to come up with that um, number. So we can do that by looking at an income statement. So remember our income statement, our contribution margin income statement was sales minus variable cost gives me contribution margin. So if I have sales per unit, variable cost per unit, that would give me contribution margin per unit. So they tell me my sales... We're going to charge $1,000 per ticket, and our commission on that is 8%. So that's going to be my sales per ticket, which I believe comes out to be $80. And they're saying that our variable cost per ticket is $35. So therefore, my contribution margin per ticket is $45. So if we divide the $22,000 by $45 per ticket in contribution margin, that tells me I have to sell 489 tickets to break even. In part B, they're asking us to figure out how many tickets we would have to sell to earn a profit of $10,000 per month. So instead of break even at a zero profit, we wanna have a $10,000 profit. So the only difference here is instead of only fixed cost in the numerator, we're going to add to that the $10,000 profit that we want to make. Again, dividing that by the contribution margin per unit, $45 per ticket. So in this case, we would have to sell 712 tickets to make a target profit of $10,000. So what I'd like for you to do is press pause on your player right now, and you work through problems two, three, and four so it's just the same problem, just different scenarios. And see if you can come up with the break-even in tickets for each individual scenario, as well as the number of tickets to, to earn a $10,000 profit under each one of these scenarios. Then once you've completed it, come back and we'll take a look at the answers together. All right, welcome back. Uh, here are the answers for numbers, numbers two, three, and four. Um, as you can see in the red, I have calculated the contribution margin per unit as well as the sales based on the 8% or the $48 or the, um, the $48 in commission that they would get in, in the scenarios later on. Um, so in number two, they had $29 per ticket in variable cost, and Canadian Air pays Sunshine 8% commission. So it's very similar to part one. Uh, so we calculated the break-even in tickets at 432 and then to get a $10,000 profit, we would have to sell 628 tickets under this scenario. In number three, we had that same $29 per ticket in variable cost. But this time, 
Instead of getting a percentage, we have a fixed commission of $48 per ticket. So our sales are $48. Commit variable cost is still $29, but now our contribution margin goes all the way down to 19. So you can see with a lower contribution margin, our break even uh, in tickets jets up to 1158. And to get a $10,000 profit, we'd have to sell 1,685 tickets. And the last scenario, we still have that $29 in variable cost per ticket, but this time, in addition to having the $48 in commission, we also charge our customers a delivery fee of $5 per ticket. So that increases our sales from 48 to 53. So our contribution margin goes up just slightly by $5. So that reduces our break-even in tickets as well as our break-even in uh, earning a $10,000 profit.